how did the candidates do in their first presidential debate? Well, tonight we are joined live by two men on either side of the aisle. Robert Gibbs is Senator Obama's communications director, and Charlie Giroux is a Republican political insider here at CBS 21. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us tonight. Good to be Thanks with you, Tony. All right, I guess my first question would definitely be about the economy. Right off the bat, the candidates were asked about uh, their financial recovery plan, where they stand on it. And Charlie, we'll begin with you tonight. Uh, McCain said it was it was due to the out of con control spending that needs to stop. Obama said tax cuts would fix this problem. Where do you think uh, McCain stood on this tonight? Well, John McCain began the night as a reformer. He clearly showed that he's on message on this point. It is about spending, and the thing that Barack Obama can't come to grips with is where we cut the spending. And John McCain said we should go look at the Citizens Against Government Waste website. I think that's a great idea for the Barack Obama campaign. All right, and Mr. Gibbs, what about you with uh, Barack Obama saying tax cuts would fix the problem? Well, tax cuts is what's going to put money in the pockets of Pennsylvanians uh, that they need right now. They're struggling with uh, college affordability. They can't afford uh, they can't afford gas. They won't be able to afford home heating oil in the winter. Uh, and I think what you saw tonight is one candidate in Barack Obama that spoke passionately about getting the middle class moving forward again, creating jobs and moving our economy in the right direction. All right, and, and going off the economy just for a second here, my second question to you both tonight is uh, the candidates' responses to how they felt the lessons of Iraq were being felt around the nation. And Mr. Gibbs, let's go ahead and begin with you uh, with sure. Senator Obama's response to that. Well, look, I don't, I don't think there's any doubt the most powerful moment in this debate is when Barack Obama turned to John McCain and listed the judgments after judgments after judgments that John McCain's been wrong on Iraq, that we'd be greeted as liberators, that he knew where the weapons of mass destruction were, or that there weren't a history of violence between the Shia and Sunni. Barack Obama has a plan to responsibly get us out of Iraq and to focus ourselves on the central front on the war and terror in Afghanistan and the hills of Pakistan, where Osama bin Laden lives today. Right, Charlie, was McCain wrong on Iraq? Robert Gibbs does a great job of reading those Democratic talking points, and Barack Obama does a great job when he's reading off the teleprompter. But when we got to the question of Iraq, and we really began to scrape away the rhetoric that Barack Obama is so good at, you saw him completely fall apart. John McCain was exactly right on this. He has been right. Barack Obama wants to take us back and talk about whether or not we should have even gone into Iraq. The telling moment of this debate was when John McCain said it's not the issue for the next president to decide whether or not we should be in Iraq. The question is, what do we do now? He was on message. He showed that he is a leader prepared to be president from day one, not a pretender to the throne. 